Hey, what's up folks? My name is Ty. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of Dead Island 2 news. We got lots to discuss today. And honestly, I knew news was coming, but I did not expect it to be, well, this much. First off, the DLC is coming way sooner than I think most people, including myself, were expecting on April 17th. One major thing I want to get right out of the way that I've seen very few people discuss is the return of Tisha. Yeah, she's coming back. Meaning the story will finally, maybe, well, we'll see, come to a close. Or maybe they'll just tease Dead Island 3, time will tell. But if we're lucky, well, we'll get both. The story this time around has a going to the Sola Music Festival to track down probably Tisha. But within the festival, there is an enigmatic psychedelic beat that is luring people and turning them into zombies. On the Dead Island website, it says, are you ready to face the music and battle the darkness that raves at the edge of reality? Well, sounds pretty cool. While the story could be super interesting and well done and tie the story to a final close, I still think the highlight is probably going to be the new location and zombies. Because yeah, unlike the last DLC, we're actually getting some new Apex zombies. The Whipper and the Clodder. The Whipper, we actually get a little tease of, which shows the zombies intestines being thrown at the player. The other one is the Clodder though, which we have no clue what they look like. But their description on the Dead Island website says they can decompose into a revolting pile of gore. In that form, being immune to damage, and then they can kind of teleport elsewhere and reform and continue the fight. And they're also capable of firing a powerful jet of putrid blood from their heart. So these guys are probably going to be the main endgame enemy. Some new weapons were also revealed, like this new electric guitar and sledgehammer. But the main new ones in this DLC, I would say, are the Ripper and the Sawblade Launcher. Two weapons that have been in the game file since launch that soon will be accessible to everyone. Everyone that has the DLC, at least. I do think it's worth noting that the weapons you see on screen now are unfinished, so keep that in mind. Like, for example, the Sawblade on the Ripper will actually move in the DLC. There is one DLC image that can't be found on the Dead Island website, and it's this one with a new character named Grace. The title of the image says solahubgrace.png, so we'll probably be coming back to this location quite a bit throughout the DLC. There were some other concept art shown for the DLC that really do show the scope of how big this location could be. We'll have to wait and see. On the Dead Island website, there's a couple paragraphs with some new story information, interviews with the developers, and a lot more that I think will interest you maybe too. So, I'm gonna read it and reveal it to those that don't like to read, I guess. The second story expansion for Dead Island 2 is on its way and will be released April 17th. It's putting gore-splattered zombie slapstick where it belongs, on the main stage. Following on from last November's intense and immersive house, Sola takes us to the sunny fields and stages of the Ultimate California Music Festival, where LA's beautiful bohemian sets strive to save the planet one rave at a time. Only this year, things are very different. The mosh pits have a wash with blood and body parts, while the festival goers have turned nasty. Tacos, sushi, and organic smoothies are out while human flesh and brains are going down a storm. And to make things worse, the sight of this festival couldn't be worse. Ancient grounds where the veil between worlds grows thin, and a malevolent presence lurks beneath the psychic delic beats. Luckily, LA's finest lairs are coming prime to party, armed with new weapons, perks, and curved balls with which to tackle the ferocious festival goers. When the zombie crowd goes crazy or new undead horrors shamble into view, it's up to you to put on the show of your life. Apex zombies like the decomposing clotter and the mutilated whip are guaranteed an epic lineup, and with the new saw blade launcher on Ripper, which is a circular saw made baseball bat, you got everything you need to bring the noise. So why the festival setting? Our new DLC was created in contrast to House, explains Dan Buster Art director Adam Olson, and it really started out when we realized that we couldn't find any other media that had done zombies in a festival. It's the perfect peanut butter and jelly combination. The setting gave the team the chance to create one of the biggest and most open areas of destruction yet, and contrast the personality and sunshine aesthetic of the All-American Summer Festival with the splatter movie mayhem that makes Dead Island so much fun. The result is a loving satire of the classic California festival, amalgamating everything from Splash House and Bottle Rock to the legendary Coachella. Only here, the shambling hordes are after your blood and brains, not water in a spot near the stage. That doesn't just mean the fields, stalls, stages, and VIP areas you'd expect, but also a clutch of strange new characters. Plus, some fiendish festival goers that should give Slayers their toughest battles yet. We wanted the zombies attending the festival to match the aesthetic of the ideal festival goer, says lead character designer Richard Smith. Not just normal people, but people who reflect that beautiful culture. They're loud and colorful, they're wearing face glitter and have flowers in their hair. The whole vibe of festival goers. We wanted to really nail the atmosphere in place and give you the impression of who and where they were the moment they turned. We started with this idea that we wanted to have an enemy with a whip-like attack, but we wanted to do this without giving our zombies intelligence or tools. Olsen goes on to say the way that we try to cement this embody horror in the zombie aesthetic is that we have a zombie that has scratched its body open and started to dig in, and now it has its own intestines wrapped up in its arms that can be used as a whip. The festival isn't just skin deep, with the team working hard to create an interconnected world behind the stages, where you can see the band members, slay the band members, and explore where they stayed and played. As Olsen puts it, I say that we're not the Black Mirror held up to show the fall of man. We're simply a good time killing zombies in a beautiful location, and with Sola, we're going to go full gore glory. Beyond the zombies and the weapons, I think we're going to have some standout moments where we'll see how far we can push things. I think that players are going to have a lot of fun. 
And that is all the new Dead Island 2 information. We had a lot chopped on us, more than I was expecting, so share your thoughts in the comments, I'm very curious. But anyways, that is gonna be it for me for today. So if you enjoyed the content, then do me the favor of liking this video, subscribing, join the Discord, and follow me on Patreon if you want to support the channel even further. I appreciate it all. Anyways though, adios.